PTSD, or post-traumatic stress disorder, is a mental health condition triggered by a terrifying event. 30% of war veterans are estimated to have had PTSD in their lifetime, and that number may be even higher as screening methods improve. Symptoms can be severe. They include unpredictable flashbacks of the traumatic event, reoccurring nightmares, anxiety, and depression. Several studies have found a link between the disorder and an increased risk of suicide. But why exactly does PTSD occur? And is it evidence of evolution at play? A new study from Western University provides some answers. For the first time ever, biologists found experimental evidence that fear in wild animals when exposed to predators persists beyond the initial fight-or-flight response. The researchers analyzed wild black-capped chickadees, a type of small North American bird. They exposed individual birds to audio recording of predators, including several types of hawks and owls. They then allowed the birds to rejoin their flock for a week where they were no longer exposed to any threats. The birds were then exposed to a chickadee alarm call. Those who had heard the predator sounds exhibited more fearful behavior. These long-lasting effects on the fear circuit were corroborated by measuring neuron activation in the bird's amygdala and hippocampus. The scientists think keeping a reminder of a past encounter with a predator serves an evolutionary benefit because it helps the bird avoid the event in the future. The same logic would apply to humans. This suggests PTSD is a primitive evolutionary tool that forces us to pick safety over quality of life. These results have important implications for biomedical researchers, mental health clinicians, and ecologists. Our findings support both the notion that PTSD is not unnatural and that long-lasting effects of predator-induced fear are the norm in nature. It may seem simple, but prior to this study, it was still thought that prey responses to predator in the wild were short-term and had no long-lasting effects. For us, these results may change how PTSD is defined. Rather than an unnatural dysfunction, it's looking more likely it is a naturally occurring phenomenon that serves an evolutionary purpose. Like the fight or flight response, it's a relic of a time when humans lived a less civilized life. These findings may even affect how psychologists treat PTSD. That remains to be seen, but we will keep you updated on any developments.